In a day and age where every plug and play console is trying to emulate the success of Nintendo's classic series, the Pandora's Box 5 manages to bring something innovative to the table. Being as much of a portable arcade as it is a plug and play console, the Pandora's Box 5 is built with outstanding craftsmanship. While it doesn't use Sangwa parts, the six button layout is definitely above average. And the round top square gate joystick feels great. In the back of the console we have an on off switch the port for the power supply, an HDMI and VGA video output, a headphone jack, a volume rocker for the built-in speaker, a game configuration button, as well as two USB ports, one of which can be used to turn the Pandora's box into an input device for like a Raspberry Pi or a computer. The console comes with close to a thousand built-in games. It has a ton of retro arcade classics. a bunch of 90s arcade favorites, every competitive 2D fighting game you could possibly think of. So I'm not gonna lie, I was geeking out a bit while making this video. The Pandora's Box 5 is absolutely awesome.
fact that it has all of these arcade titles, all the 2D fighters, which I'm a huge fan of, and can be used as an input device for my Raspberry Pis or my laptop, the Pandora's Box 5 is a whole lot of functionality wrapped into an affordable price tag. I highly recommend this console for anyone that has an affinity for retro games or old school arcade games. For the price of a decent fight stick, you're getting all of this. If you're interested in a Pandora's Box 5, I'll put a link in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.